Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Right today we've got a little project on. Just had another brainwave and uh, I thought I would actually play with these little modules you see in front of you. They're called Node MCUs. These two cost me I think £8.80 delivered from the UK. Do I think they're original? Not for that price. They may well be. Right, let me just put the microscope on and we'll have a closer look at these. Right, that's the microscope on. Right, let's have a closer look. Get it a bit in focus. Okay, as you see, is this is the, uh, the Wi-Fi module. It's an ESP8266 mod. Vendor is an AI thinker. 2.4 gigahertz. All right, the board itself, as you can see, it's very rough and ready. You see where it hasn't been finished off. You can still see these bits where obviously uh, multiple boards have been made and obviously constructed uh, together, and they've just been snapped off. Really, there's no real finish in here which that definitely suggests these are probably not original. Right, the description there is a Node MCU development kit version of 0.9 and the date is quite a few years ago. Right, what you seem to have here also, you've got an A0, so I presume that's an analog. These along here, which say RSV, I presume these are reserved. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. Right, ground 3.3. Ground 3.3, you seem to have quite a lot of those. An enable pin, a reset pin. Ground, good old fashioned 5 volts. Right, this end we have a, a user button and a flash button and the micro USB connector. Uh, this chip here, even though I can't quite see what it is, is a, it's the CH340, uh, which is USB to serial for communicating to this. Again, we've got some more supply lines. Uh, TXRX, I'm presuming if you don't use the CH340, you can use these lines to actually talk to it. Right, we've got D. D0 to D8, no D7, D8, so that's actually nine digital input pins. And in the middle, conveniently, we've got a ground and a, a 3.3 volts. There seems to be quite a few of these scattered around, so it's quite easy to tap off onto these things. Now, these things are basically a Wi Fi module with a, a micro pro, uh, controller as well. So we can program these up as standalone units. Right on the back, it's got, uh, as you see, the screen printing is not great, which does very much uh, say it's a fake. Node MCU version 0.9 ESP12 core. Wi Fi IoT platform. MCU in the cloud, different. And we have a web address here, www.nodemcu.com. Okay, that's these two modules. I'm gonna bring in a third. Right, and this is a temperature humidity module. Uh, I try and remember what it is now. I think it's a, a DHT11. I'm almost sure it's a DHT11. Uh, these are about two pound, even in the UK, on eBay. Not much to say about this module. You have got your supply lines and an output. So I presume this is some type of uh, one-wire serial device. Now what I want to do is basically link these two together and they will connect to my network and I want to make quite a few of these and put them in each room basically 
and each each one of these node MCUs will have its own IP address so I can actually interrogate the network and get a temperature from each room uh, and we'll just uh, gather that into a central unit and then we can use that to control things maybe the central heating so you could actually put the duty cycle say if the front room's too cold or if your bedroom's too cold instead of having the fixed you know sensor in the hallway you could pick any one of the sensors to control from and that's um, basically where I'm getting to at the moment and I'll go through how to program this uh, very roughly I've done quite a few things and it's, there's so much on the internet that I ain't going to go into depth but yeah I will supply the program the program I'm using as well and some relevant information and hopefully anyone that wants to follow this project or do something similar then utilize what I've done already and maybe produce a nice system for themselves right okay I'm going to flick over to the computer and go into a bit about programming this baby okay guys and girls right now for the programming there's a uh, many different languages or operating systems you can use uh, I'm just going to use the uh, good old faithful Arduino. Right, I've got the uh, Arduino IDE open on the screen now. And the first thing you need to do is actually add the board to the uh, IDE. Right, to do this, if you go to File, Preferences, and you need to add this line in the uh, additional boards manager url which is http colon forward slash forward slash audrino dot esp8266 dot com stroke stable stroke package esp8266 com underscore index dot json i will uh, put that in the description so you can uh, cut and paste them. Once you've done that, you want to go to your board manager, which is tools, boards, board manager, and in your filter here, if you just type ESP, uh, what you want to do is install this one. As you see, I've already got it installed. This is a version. I've got the version 2.3.0 installed. Uh, you have, if you click on it, you will get an install button. Because I've already got it installed, I get the option. Uh, I can pick uh, different versions, but I'm on the latest version at the moment. Once that's done, you obviously need to pick the board. So you go to board and because uh, you put in that module you will get basically all of these ESP8266 boards uh, I'm actually on the version 1 uh, the, the 0.9 seems to work as well and there's probably a few others that will work with these boards if you purchase a different board obviously it may be in the list if not there are some generic ones up the top here Right, this code, uh, I, I can't take any credit for creating it because it's snippets of uh, other people's. I don't believe in reinventing the wheel. So I've gone hunting, look for something that's pretty close. Uh, I've looked for the examples and that and done a bit of copying and pasting and editing myself. Uh, I, the actual main thing I did is I reduced this a bit because uh, the one that I actually got off the internet uh, there was degrees F and things like that I wasn't interested I only work in degrees C so this section here has been reduced and I also had to define this pin here as D2 which it wasn't defined correctly up here you've got your SSID 
as you see I've got a username here this is this would be your Wi-Fi networks SSID and its associated password I've put mine on this address which is uh, 24 or should I say it's 192.168.1.24 uh, I knew this address range is free uh, but you may need to look and see where you're uh, into your router if you use DHCP uh, most people do you need to find the range and make sure this is outside that range so it doesn't get duplicated by another device right once you get that it's just a case of simply blowing it exactly the same as you would would do normally I've lost my mouse you do this to upload and it would just upload the sketch and it will boot up and uh, run well what I will do is I will demonstrate it running and show you how to access the uh, data from it uh, I will put this program on my website so you can download this and edit to your will you will need uh, these libraries which uh, just look around if you just google these names and that you can find these libraries quite readily on the internet but these need to be installed in your IDE I'm not going to go through how to install libraries there's plenty of YouTube footage for that right I'm going to just pause the video connect up my little device and you can see how it works hi everyone it's connected up sorry the leads a bit short I'm just getting the uh, supply from the computer what I've used is the uh, plus three uh, volts on the ground here which go to plus or minus here and the output the blue line goes to D2 there's not actually much to see here occasionally I don't know if you're gonna see it occasionally the uh, light here will flash uh, normally when I'm, I'm accessing it but it's it's quite a dim uh, LED I did just try it on a power bank it doesn't draw enough power to keep the power bank going right now how do I access this right now I access this by just typing in the IP address here if I just hit the refresh right it says it's 42% and 24 degrees C so I don't know why they've got the other decimal point it, it seems to always be in whole units uh, just done another refresh 40% 25 degrees C uh, this obviously this is there's no reading Do it again 41 24 so I think I may take these decimal points off because they're absolutely no use what is useful is I've got my address there I do forward slash temperature it'll just give me 24.0 if I do humidity it gives me 41 this lends itself because I can have another machine and uh, if I want the humidity out of uh, say this sensor I just type in its IP address stroke humidity and immediately I can download the temporary humidity so I can make almost like a hub which interrogates multiple sensors and this is the main idea of this we have a main control unit which interrogates all the sensors in the house and then you know if uh, one drops below a certain value we can switch the heating on or do whatever logic we would like okay hopefully this was a useful year for you uh, don't forget to subscribe and oh, i'm going to be doing more in the future on this it's been uh, quite interesting 
Many thanks for watching.